Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now if you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews then make sure you hit that subscribe button and as always in my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a weird one for me because I enjoyed this movie, I really really enjoyed it but I felt like what I enjoyed the most about this film was that it felt like it was building to something and I felt like I enjoyed that journey more than the journey I was going on within this self-contained film and, and what I kind of mean by that is that this movie feels very reminiscent to the Planet of the Apes trilogy we got um, a few years ago and this film very much feels like the placeholder for me between the kind of big nostalgia pop that we got with Jurassic World. Uh, now you've got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is building now towards that final story, which is obviously going to be Jurassic World 3. So as much as I enjoyed this movie, it just felt like I was more excited for what was coming in the future. But as I said, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy this movie. And one of the my favourite things and one of the things I loved so much about this film was the film's final act because, oh my god, it was incredible. So, so good. Now, let me just rewind it for a little bit here. I still enjoyed um, the film's first act. I thought the film's first act was really, really well done. It really reintroduced us back into the characters, reintroduced us into the story. It was a really nice continuation of that Jurassic World story. I can't remember really much what happened in the middle of this film. The middle act was just very, very, it was very dull if I'm being honest. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but then it ramped back up again as I say, to the film's final act, which took place on the Lockwood estate, for those of you guys that are looking for a reference point. And, oh my God, I was blown away. I was just, honestly, I was speechless, and I was scared, and I was just clawing at my seat watching the film's final act because it was so so incredible the way they built up the suspense the tension and almost the genuine horror in points was amazing and nobody can say that Jurassic Park has lost its fear factor after seeing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because I loved it I really really loved the way that they built up the Indoraptor to be a genuinely terrifying monster and that is another thing I have to praise this movie on is that one of my criticisms of Jurassic World was that we kind of just had the Indominus Rex which was basically T-Rex 2.0 let's be honest it didn't really although they tried to make it seem really cool um after the first 20 minutes or so it just turned into another generic movie monster but they didn't do that with the Indoraptor they really really gave it its own identity and personality and there are scenes in this movie that are not only reminiscent of the first Jurassic Park movie, but they've adapted and evolved that. And I just thought it was so, so good. Seriously, cannot praise the film's final act enough. I thought it was incredible. And just to add to that point, again, I really enjoyed that this movie did have a scaled down feel to it. As I just mentioned in all my previous points, I thought that worked so well and really built an intimacy up between the viewer and this film and I really really love that because you know this is a sequel it's a massive blockbuster franchise and for them to almost take that risk and scale back this film and for it to work so well I just have to applaud them because for me oh, I just loved it and it felt so great and again it just really adds to that feeling that they are building towards something in the the third film of this trilogy. I really enjoyed Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom but one of the major issues I have with this film is that it has no decent character and what I mean by that is that there are no, if not very few, well-rounded and well-written characters in this film. Yes, you can make the point for Owen and Claire, but we know those characters, we know their backstory, so they can slip back into their roles with no real issue. My issues come with these additional characters and these new characters that were introduced to in this movie that just felt very one-dimensional, flat, almost disjointed in points. They just didn't really make any sense and had no real impact uh, for me personally on the story. I thought the character of Lockwood was very, very poor. 
Um, I don't get him. He's never been mentioned in the franchise before, but then all of a sudden he's supposed to be a major player in what was the first Jurassic Park. He was had a massive hand in building it. As I say, he's never been referenced before, so he was just like, oh, there's some old white dudes. Yeah, he's John Hammond's friend, and we're supposed to buy that without really questioning it or looking into it. And um, Before I jump back into the negatives, a character, more a performance that I want to give props to is Rave Spall. I thought he was brilliant as the film's antagonist. I thought... He he made me hate his character for the right reasons, but I need to get onto it. I need to get this off my chest. I thought Franklin is probably the worst character in film history. I absolutely despised the Franklin character. He was terrible. He was awful. I have no idea why he's in this movie. I get that he was supposed to be there for the comic relief, but there wasn't any comedy for him to be there. There was no reason for him to be there. It was just so poor and such a weak and just aggravating character he really dragged this movie down i think that's why most of my dislike comes is is from the franklin character and i know you can't really base your enjoyment off a film on one character but i really strongly did not like the franklin character he was just so poor all of his decisions didn't make sense and that is a really big thing for me the fact that i was sat in the cinema for most of the time franklin was on screen questioning why his character was doing things it just didn't feel like he should have been there he had it he added nothing to the story he was a really poor character and i'm going to end this run here because i could just go on for hours about how much i hated franklin but yeah he was a really really um poor addition to this cast and i i it, it's just a poor poor character for me so that is my review of jurassic world fallen kingdom i really enjoyed this movie it's still a whole lot of dino fun if you're a fan of the jurassic park franchise you will enjoy this film for me it did feel like they were reaching for the third film rather than focusing on the here and now and it did feel very much like a placeholder this film but that's not necessarily a bad thing because as I say it's still an enjoyable movie go and see this film if n for nothing else other than the film's final act because if you want to be terrified by dinosaurs and really feel like a 10 year old kid again watching jurassic park for the first time go and see it for the film's final act that is incredible and i say it's still a fun dinosaur adventure it just missed the mark on a few things for me personally so if you guys have seen jurassic world fallen kingdom then let me know what you thought about it as always down in those comments below and if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews then make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the very next episode of the jamie hughes show ta-ra mm -hmm.